everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Glitzy Jam. We're going to do another quintuplet tutorial using my old eyeshadows. So, um, the lipstick that I'm wearing right now is uh, by Giordano Colors. And it's in the shade Sangria. Sangria. Giordano Colors. Come in a set of five. Five shades. So, we're going to go ahead. I already primed my eyes. We're going to go ahead and use my crease brush. And this is the palette that we're going to be using, uh, the Wet n Wild Fergie palette, and it's in the Center Stage Collection. And it's a photo op eyeshadow. I don't know what that means. It says when you have a, it says here, when you've always got a camera pointed at you, every side has to be your best. This palette of intensely pigmented eyeshadows comes in a large, comes in a range of textures from translucent highlights to subtle mattes to shimmering glitters, all of which the camera loves. Its satiny smooth formula is nylon treated and jet milled for ultra pigmented crease resistant color that lets all day that lasts all day. Be one of the glamorous. Oh, Flossie. Or ooh, Flossie. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this palette out. One of my older palettes. I do see a shimmer shade here. These two shades here are shimmers. These two are mattes. This is like a real subtle, it's like a matte gray color. So let's go ahead and do the crease. I'm going to go in the crease with this blue shade. All right. So let me get you up close. Let's go ahead and get started. So far, I'm getting pigmentation. The application of it is a little, feels a little tacky, but I think it's because of the primer I'm wearing. Just go back and forth. Let's just build this color up to the darkest we can get it. We might have to switch brushes, but for now, I think this this is fine for now. Okay, let's do the other side the same. Okay, if you round the edges out as well, like the outer corner, it's okay if you round it out. My brush is um, very fluffy, so it gets everywhere. It's okay because we're going to be using more than just this shade for the look we're going for. Okay, so let's 
so that's so that's the look for the blue shade okay now I'm gonna go ahead and do the outer corner the outer corner <laughs> I'm gonna go over the crease and I am going to use my crease brush here to go over the crease and I'm gonna go over the crease with this teal looking shade here and go over the crease it's just where the eye socket bone is just go back and forth and just round it off going on really lightly okay this is the other side Sorry if I was out of focus. I am so sorry. I am not paying attention to the camera. I'm trying to pay attention to my mirror here. <laughs> sorry. Because without my mirror, I am blind. I cannot see anything. Okay, so. And I'm just going over the crease with that teal shade. Okay, so we got that teal shade in there already. The next shade we're going to go in is with the lid. Using the same um, crease and that poor brush. We're going to go ahead and go in with the, with the lid shade which is purple. And go all over the lid here. Now, with the gray shade, I'm going to go ahead and do the outer corner. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. blending brush. So far, this is how it looks before I put the gray on. Fergie. Okay, so let's put this gray on. Very subtle gray. 
outer my outer V. Just blend it in there on my outer V. side Wow Wow It does look very subtle But you can still see the, the color there too you can still see the gray and it didn't like kind of distort the, the other shades hmm. I like it okay I'm gonna go in again with the lid because I feel like I need more on this side more shade on the lid so we're gonna go in with the purple again on the lid Go ahead and so it needs to be a little bit more rounded off. Let me just wipe this little excess off. There we go. There we go. There's no excess on this side. So now with this lighter shade here we're going to go ahead and do the rest of the other the rest of the eye i'm going to go ahead and use my a1 detailing brush dual ended i'm going to use the fluffy side go in with the shimmer here and we're just going to go on the eyebrow bone and just round it out round it out towards the outer corner Okay, I'm going to do this in my inner corner as well. Overall, this palette is still performing good. It still has its pigmentation. It's still, the color is still cohesive. So, do the inner corner with this shade. getting that on camera <laughs> wow it looks beautiful don't it wow wowie wowie I do love the way this is turning out this look it's turning out okay so I'm gonna do the bottom lash line wowie wowie 
Alright. I'm going to go ahead and use this um, blue shade here in the bottom lash line. I'm going to go over it with the teal underneath that I'm going to go over it with this teal shade teal the only shimmer I see is the this light shade here that's the only shimmer I've seen so far in this palette All the other ones are satiny shades. Ooh, it's coming out. The color's coming out. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. I'm gonna let it show. Now, I guess to finish this look off, I guess that's it, really, really, really. Maybe I can just go in with a shimmer, just a little shimmer bottom maybe. Over that teal shade, like underneath that teal shade. stash it so what do you guys think why is red okay so here's the color up close So here's a finishing look. Okay, well you gems, lovely gems, thank you for watching my channel and I'll see you next time on my next tutorial. Love you.